What's up, Internet? It's the dumbass Panicos Gaming. So, previous VOD, I ended it off not having a Dawnstone. Which was annoying, but I was like, it's fine. I'll just kind of pick at the, um, the auction house a little bit, right? And, you know, I was doing a bunch of trades last night. Uh, and I was sitting over here. At, this actually cycled over a couple times. I'm not sure exactly how it does it. I think it's the daytime cycle in game is how this is based if i had to guess but i really have no idea anyway so i was sitting through it a little bit you know just hoping maybe it would pop up didn't pop up that's fine right you know it's not a big deal um i loaded in the game today to start streaming like i'm not really upset in fact i'm not upset at all because hey this makes my life easier but like Come on, I couldn't have gotten this last night. You had to wait until I was on stream again. So anyways, that's why we're starting off the uh, recording with uh, with this. I have no idea how much this is going to cost me. But I'm just going to keep paying the highest amount. Yeah, you know, honestly, 4000 for one of those is not that bad, considering you can't buy them. This is absolutely way off. Okay, sorry, I'm being super anal about my camera and microphone setup again. Come on. Also, this microphone arm has gotten, like, super warped. I discovered the other day it, uh, the stand for it had actually, like, twisted a little bit. Which is part of my issues I was having, but also it's just not quite right. Anyways... Oh, they have fastballs? Uh... Wow, I want to do all of these. Um... No. I don't need fastballs that badly. Uh, no, not... Not for, uh... At least for the money that I have right now, not for eight normal bottle caps. Also, can't you just, like, straight up buy those regularly i'm sure they're more expensive than 10k a piece but still oh uh, so actually let's go ahead and show off this real quick so we got uh this guy from trades i was just doing mystery trades i actually got a couple of new pokemon from it oh uh, i have a bunch of these cats because i want to actually give them like co-workers and stuff um yeah, we got a couple of uh, the Violet Exclusive Paradox Pokemon. So we got this thing, which is Dark Flying. And it's obviously, it's based off of Hydreigon. And then Iron Hands, which is based off of the... Um, Hariyama, I think? I can't remember for sure if that's the name. Uh, but yeah, Fighting Electric. Apparently, this thing is actually like basically the best pokemon for uh six star raids like it's like almost not even a debate because it can get a uh, drain punch so even when it takes damage which if you use something like belly drum you'll take a lot of damage uh but even when you do that you'll just get all of your hp back immediately um so anyways that's in the team now um so we still got our uh the grass cat the fire croc the uh this thing which really should be fighting bug but whatever um tinkaton got so this is replacing our um palm whatever it was the like you know fully evolved palmy uh and then this we're going to evolve right now actually let me go ahead and save Before I do that. I didn't realize I had a bunch of these medium candies. Not complaining though. Uh, and I didn't actually get any of the... Um, there we go. Uh, I didn't get any of the like class stuff done. Because I just... I was doing trades all night pretty much. A lot of it was just repeating the same trades over and over again. Because... 
Or like getting a Pokemon and immediately trading it away because it was just something I already have. All right, very nice. Go grab a Drowsy. Uh, I don't need Slash on you. I don't know why I would ever want Slash on you. I do want to put full swipe on you at some point. Um. We also did get some other good items for this stuff. Oh, which one did we, like, go over and not actually look at? There it is. Um. All right. I probably should have waited to start this recording because, like... I don't know. Uh, let's put you here, because I do want to hold on to you. Uh, I need to double check you. I think I remember getting a bear tick. I hope I do. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I'm just not sure why I have it down here in my, like, my trading stuff. Uh... Why is this so off-center? What? God, what the hell happened to my streaming setup overnight? Okay. That's where I want the microphone, except it's gonna still move a little bit. It's like, I try, like, I tried to bend it back a little bit, and everything about this setup got messed up. Also, I did actually jostle the table a little bit, so I think that might be part of the issues, because I messed with the webcam. Because I it got messed up. Um, all right, where is that drowsy? There it is. God, I was like, do I not have one? Uh, drowsy, I believe, is just a level evolution, right? This V. Yep, just need to get him to level 26. I was pretty sure of that. Uh, so, we need to go take on the Ground Titan. Uh, so, I'm assuming our Grass Cat's going to be our best choice for that. Because, well, really, it's our only choice for that, let's be honest. All right, let's go. Where is the Ground Titan? Is it over here? Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? Then we can just run right out of town, then. But yeah, I kind of want to try and knock out the two Titans and the two, um, Team Stars that I have left right now. We'll see if that happens. I would like to get those done tonight, though. Um, and yeah, I think I will stream tomorrow. That's the plan right now. I'm going to be honest, I almost didn't stream today just because it's me. I don't like that they change your camera angle there. I get why they do it, but also it's annoying because, like, I'm aware that it's to my right, but I need to run forward. Oh, that deerling was, like, jumping around, I guess? Oh, wait, is it? No, this is a cliff, okay. Oh, uh, but yeah, because I, I really wanted to... Going back to stream tomorrow, probably. I really need to, like, get this game done. So I can, like, move on into shiny hunting. Apparently, shiny hunting for the Paradox forums is not going to be too bad. Also, I need to catch that dung beetle thing. I don't think I've got one of these yet. Which is interesting, because I haven't even, like, gotten one through a trade yet. I feel like this would be something I would probably get through a trade. Unless this is the Evolve. Well, even being Evolved, I don't know. Actually, maybe not. I guess no one would be breeding it, and a lot of people are probably holding on to it for Living Deck stuff. Unlike, you know, Drowsy, for instance. Alright, new Pokemon... Uh, do I want to go battle this person? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and do it. Also, there is... Oh, right. Stone Journer. Because you can't get Ice Q in this version of the game. You can only get Stone Journer in Scarlet and Ice Q in Violet. 
Anyways, we'll beat up this guy, catch ourselves a Stone Journer. We'll go over that Fallen Down Tower. We have not seen a Dratini yet. Um, which is not great. Well, yeah, we can just Night Slash. That's fine. I didn't even see what level it is. I assume well below me. Oh, that's a Silicobra. Or Silicoon or something over there. Why did it set the camera angle so weird? That was odd. Um, hopefully this catches. Oh, that should almost certainly catch. Hell yeah. Inkaton is at level 50 now. Nice. But yeah, and I can add some more uh, kind of broken Pokemon to my party, like the um, the Iron Valiant that I got a while back. Um, that I haven't been able to use because I hadn't completed the gym challenge yet, so it was just too high of a level. Is that... No. Um, but there's stuff that I can add to my party, so hopefully moving forward, now the game's going to go a little bit quicker to at least beat the base game. Because, like, I do still have to worry about levels a little bit, and that, like, I need to level up. Uh, have I caught one of you yet? Oh, I do apparently have one of you. Alright. Can we not go up that? Okay. Oh, is that a cac- have I gotten a- yeah, I've gotten a cacnea, I'm almost certain. Through a trade. Yeah. Roughly- okay. Really, it's not up here. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Okay. Also a little curious that there wasn't a chest up there. One of the Gimme Ghoul chest forms. But that isn't too surprising, let's be honest. Being that it's fallen over. Oh, uh, Breviary. Also, oh, Larvesta is over here. Have I gotten a Larvesta? I have not gotten Larvesta. Or either of these, uh, Hippowdon or Hippopotas. I don't think there's any way in hell this catches. Isn't this, uh, didn't this used to be a pseudo-legendary? I actually might catch now. I know Larvesta is a Gen 5 Pokemon because it doesn't evolve to, uh, Volcarona until, like, level 8,000. Well, I'm glad I came over here to do this a little bit, because it's nice to get some more catches in. I still, that fly is just so weird to me. Oh, that's right. I found somewhere that I could, or I could buy quick balls. I might actually try and catch that. I wasn't going to try to catch the Breviary, but realizing now that, oh, right, I bought a bunch of Quick Balls last uh, time I played, might as well. Uh, well, maybe we won't try and catch the Breviary since it decided to run away from me. Uh, sand dial I have, yeah. I'm not gonna worry about that trainer battle over there. Um, uh, I got a Dawn fan. Yeah, I did get a Dawn fan, right? Come on. Oh my god, fuck off. The targeting in this game, not great. Not very good. Um,. We'll just U-turn just because it has more moves, and I think it'll still knock it out in one hit. Yeah.
That's good that it doesn't do all the crap for, um... Like... You know, the animation of your Pokemon returning and stuff when you just knock out the only Pokemon that you're facing. Um... Sure, we can try and catch ourselves a Cacturn. Because that's the thing, if the Quick Ball doesn't work, we'll just knock it out. That's fine. I'm not worried about wasting these. I say that immediately it breaks out, didn't even try to shake. Um, it's grass dark, so once again, I think U-turn is my uh, way to go. Yeah. God, that, uh... Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Great Tusks? Is that what the uh, past paradox form of Dawn Fan is called? That thing is fucking massive. Because I think the future form is called um, Iron Treads. Alright. Let's just get right into it. Uh, so I would assume this will hit it nice and hard. There we go. Is that enough to finish the battle, though? That was not enough to finish the battle. Wow. And it gets speed up. Uh, I'll just hit a flower trick again. It's fine. We'll have plenty of uses of it. We will have to battle it again, I think, because it's going to run away. Um, but then we'll have Arvin for the second battle. Plus, we can just terrestrialize for that. Oh, that was an interesting move. Oh, maybe we won't have Arvin? Oh, no, there it is. Find it, and it's basically directly in my line of sight. There's a trainer right next to it, too. That's funny. Oh, there's a uh, Pokemon for special terrestrialize type over there. Can I get close enough to grab this without procking the battle? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, game. Should, like, don't put it that close and then... Anyways. Whatever. It don't matter. All right, let's see if we can get a one-hit kill on it. Let's villain as a Pokemon I really need to, like, actually get. I have the, uh, Caspi Kid, and I have a Fire Stone for it. I think it's a Fire Stone. It's either Fire or Grass. Whichever one it is, I have it. But I just need to actually do it. But now, honestly, that'll probably happen off-stream. Once I get to the point where I'm just, like, trying to finish my decks as much as I can. Oh, wow, I'm not even close to one hit, hit knocking it out. Also, I only just remembered that that move is a guaranteed crit. I was wondering, I was like, how did I get in three crits in a row? That's crazy. I didn't. I just, you know. Anyways. Okay, speed harshly fell. Not that useful. I really need it to target me here, and then I need Arvin to do some damage, please. Or actually, uh, Arvin could have just hit it. Yep, never mind. We're good. So actually, the speed down was helpful. Nice. 
Though I would have been just as helpful for the scope villain to just hit it. That's a nice chunk of XP. I'm good. All right, and now we get more story. I will say the story's definitely better than a uh, Sword and Shield. And the fact there's three separate stories is like, okay. Like, even if they were only as good, the fact there's, well, actually, if it was only as good as the Sword and Shield story, it might actually be kind of bad. Sword and Shield was not great in, t in terms of story. Um... Actually, overall, it was kind of mediocre. But, you know, it was Pokemon. But anyways, the stories so far have been pretty good. I'm not, like... The Team Star story is kind of, like, a little... Eh. But these other two have been fine. I mean, the gym challenge story is complete the gyms. It's not that interesting. But, I mean, it's no different from, you know, Pokemon Red, really. In terms of the overall storyline... Or pretty much every Pokemon, not even just red. Just like, yeah, just, you know, beat the gyms and beat the Elite Four. Oh, here we go with this again. Yes, yeah, just give it the sandwich. Is it going to be able to stand up now after the sandwich? be honest, the clothing textures are a lot higher than you expect and no wonder it's 2 FPS. Yeah, honestly, most of the graphics, up close at least, don't look half bad. Like, the, all the Pokemon having, like, hair texture to their uh, models and stuff, it's like, it makes sense why it runs like shit, but also it shouldn't run as bad as it does, by any stretch of the imagination. By the way, welcome back in, Hannah. Uh, so that's that tight and done, unsurprisingly, was not difficult. And the last one is level 57. Which is a good bit higher than me. It's dragon type, so... I feel like my, uh, Tinkatuff should be fine. Oh, nice, we have Glide now. go grab this item that was back here. There we go. Uh. Uh, what typing is this? Fighting electric. Uh, we'll put you on the front. We'll see what happens. We might be okay. Oops. Nope. Bring you back. Okay. There we go. Was not in the menu when I pressed R. Or right bumper.
Man, you don't know the hell that you just put this thing into, little kid. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll just do this. I mean, I think anything I do is gonna knock it out. Although, the stats on this thing are not actually that good. Gigaton Hammer is incredible if it was on, like, any other Pokemon. The physical attack on this thing is just not high enough. Alright, um, where am I going for that? I think we're going up... All right. Uh, God, I don't even need to check the gold duck stuff. There we go. Oh, I found a. There was a mass outbreak right here. I guess there was. Uh, do I care though? I'm gonna be honest. Not really. Oh, right, this is the, uh, the Titan that spawns back in. Uh, alright, let's go ahead and see if we can quick ball it. Because we can actually catch this one, in theory. Not sure what level it's going to be, but that's why I saved. Hey, first try! Nice, that one has a special title, too. Because you can actually make it Great Tusk, the uh, for former Titan. Same with all the Titans, actually. They all have, like, a set spawn point where after you defeat them, you can actually uh, catch another. Or catch any of them at all. That's one last thing I'll have to catch in the end game. Let's go ahead and try and catch you. Since it was flying before, so I couldn't really... Well, I guess I could have thrown my Pokeball at it, but... Eh. Oh, this... Um, okay. We'll use a Quick Ball, and then we're gonna GTFO out of this battle. Why is this thing so high level? Alright, well, that works. <laughs> Just random level 56 out of all these other Pokemon. Oh, is that an evolution for the Drowsy? Uh, we'll see in a second. No, that wasn't. Oh, is it level 33 for that? No, 26, okay. That graphical glitch. Um, are we fine? Oh no, we do need to actually go to the left here, so we can get out of the uh, the desert. And we got a little bit of healing, too. What is that, a bounce suite on the table? Oh, Applin. So, from what I've heard, the, uh, the flying is actually nerfed from uh, Legends Arceus, which is impressive because the flying in Legends Arceus was not great. Because they, like, wanted to force you to, uh, oh, I'm not gonna make this, am I? Oh, there we go. Uh, they wanted to, like, force you to, uh, have to use the climbing, I guess. Hmm. 
but apparently you like your speed falls off faster or you go down faster or something it just doesn't go for as far all right what level are you gonna be not too far off uh Is that defense down? Yeah. Okay, that's a little annoying. This is only Pokemon though. Uh, yeah, we'll just Brutal Swing. Assuming we break through the uh, Paralyze here. Assuming we break through the Paralyze here. We'll do okay damage. Or any damage. It just needs to do something to knock him out. Alright. Uh, is there a Pokemon Center anywhere around this? Uh, kinda over on the mountain, I guess. So I guess we could go heal. Oh, cool. Slow poke and the slow bro. Uh, we can try and catch a slow bro. Oh, quick balls are so great. Just such a useful, useful item to have. Wants to learn knockoff? Oh, this thing does. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just more damage no matter what. And if it does have an item on it, then it does even more damage. Don't care. I'm literally just trying to evolve you for the Pokedex. Let me check on that. Two thirty-eight. Oh, we do have another reward. Nice. Oh, there we go. Glad I didn't buy that fastball earlier. I just want to explore this a little bit before I go up to the Pokemon Center and, uh... What is that? Oh, that's the, uh, the Sushi Dragon Pokemon. I already have a couple of those. Thanks to trades. Oh, I don't have a Halucha yet. Interesting that I put the... The old Flying Fighting Pokemon next to the new Flying Fighting. I do find it funny that they didn't change the Pokemon at all from a Flamingo. They just called it Flamingo. Okay. Uh, what do we have on the team right now that will be, like, not useless? Like, I want to kind of try and catch this, but also I don't really care that much right now. Let's do this. We'll see. If I knock it out with a Torch Song, then we knock it out with a Torch Song. It ain't going to be the end of the world. Oh, good. He used Swords Dance. That's not good. Okay, that's not too bad. I think I will just start throwing balls at it. Uh, 
Unfortunately, since I did get rid of my paw mod, I don't have Nuzzle as an option anymore. But, didn't need it here. But I still have that Spite Ops with a false swipe. Oh, and that's, uh, so we got Halucha, and then we're gonna get, uh, Hypno as well. There we go. Also, apparently, I'm only bringing this up because I just saw Spirit Tomb in the Pokedex there. Apparently, Spirit Tomb is just somewhere in the wild. You don't need to do anything special to get it. Like, you don't have to talk to a bunch of people or anything. Nice, we got our Ultra Ball back. Oh, is that Vaporeon? Nice. Uh... I have an Altaria, right? Or a Swablu? Um... Honestly, I don't really care about trying to catch that Vaporeon, since our... One of our Pokemon is knocked out. There's another one of the sushi dragon Pokemon things. Apparently there's like three different forms of that. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh, there we go. We got to the next uh, entry as well. Fast ball. More star pieces. It's free money. I'm just going to go through this real quick just to clear out the uh, new entries. Okay. 67. Okay, start working on the slack off line. Which I believe is just levels. Oh, nice. All the new Pokemon are back here. Are they newly caught Pokemon, anyways? Minus level one. Oh, well. All right, let's go ahead and grab these items. Uh, we'll go up to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then probably just glide right down to that Titan, honestly. I'll save before I go down, though, because I, being that's going to be at least a few levels above me, it's probably going to give me some issues. I have a Magneton already. I don't. It should be a low enough level that maybe it won't, uh... break out of a quick ball. We'll see. Nope. Never had a chance. Uh, it's electric steel, right? I just do Gigaton Hammer. See how much it does. Honestly, I'm just curious. Did nothing. Okay. I actually should not have used that because it's only 90% accurate. Oh, and also it's a bug type. Dumb. Ass. God damn it. Alright, I'll just go ahead and reset. It'll be faster than dealing with that shit. That's why I saved before I did that battle. Because, like, obviously, not that hard to beat it. 
but I was trying to catch it. And also, I don't feel like knocking it out and then going back to heal and then going out on my on my quest here. It's literally just faster just to reset. Gimme ghoul. Nope. Meant to jump off from the top of the mountain, but uh have I battled this lady? I have not battled them. Uh let me grab an item. Okay, I did catch a bear tick. Oh, Altaria. <laughs> Alright, well that was an easy battle. I think she only has one Pokemon. And our Slack Auth is level 15 already. Let me, uh, make sure here. I just want to, like, double-check and make sure it's actually a, um... Just a level evolution. Yeah, 18 and then 36 for slacking. Also, I should probably check out this, um, watchtower down here. I barely made that. I almost pulled out of that jump a little bit too early. Get my uh, 50 gimme ghoul coins. I wonder where I'm at for those right now, actually. Two ninety-five. Jesus. You need 999 of those to evolve a gimme ghoul into... Uh, Golden Go, I believe is what it's called. Nice that it's level 50, though. Good for XP. It has Tackle? Oh, right, yeah, they all only have, like, Tackle and Leer or something like that. Like, no matter what level they are. <laughs> Any other items on the tower? Probably not. Yeah. Because I had the TM up at the top. What is that up there? Oh, Slowpoke. Uh, do I have one of you? I do not have one of you yet. Let's catch you. Thankfully, it's looking like I won't have to do too much stuff to finish up my Pokedex once, um... Set the... One we're missing. Eh, I'll worry about finding the, uh, the forms that I'm missing after I, like, finish my Pokedex. Oh, I think it was, though. Was it still there? 
Because I think I have the red and the yellow ones. Oh, fuck off, gold duck. I guess I'll knock it out for XP. What does Wonder Room do again? It's not Trick Room, I know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not really an issue. <laughs> and now we're fucking missing attacks. Oh, I should have just run from this. This is evolving. Is it still here? Are you orange or are you red? I think you're orange. I don't think this will catch, but we can try it. Ah, it's a crit. Nice, okay. Well, we'll find out if it's one I already had or not. I don't think I had that one yet. I can check right now. Alright, so that's the orange one. I might have actually already had that one. Now that I'm... ...looking at it. Oh no, I didn't! Nice! Oh, my boxes are a mess right now. Once I don't have to worry about working on the Pokedex anymore, I can clean it up a lot. Also, I really need to find a list of all of the new Pokemon, including alternate forms and stuff. So, like, a list that includes, you know, this thing, the, what is it, Tatsugiri? Um, but also, like, it has all three forms of it in that list. So that way I can just, like, have everything all kind of planned out for, uh... It's my Tinkatuff. Sorry, I just thought of this. Okay, it's fine. Uh, just so I can have everything planned out and have it organized before moving into uh, Pokemon Home eventually. Let me go ahead and save real quick before we jump down here. It might actually stop me in the middle of, like, the water, but... Uh... What just happened? Oh, yeah, I literally did, but at least it brought me back to land. Oh, why did you... Oh! Okay, well, that's what the, like, Titan Pokemon is. It's this thing. Or this is, like, one of them. Because it's also, like, two Pokemon. Oh my god, that thing came up on me quick. God damn. There's another one in the background. God, the camera angles in this are so bad. I 
as is the frame rate. Uh, let's just do knockoff, because I don't know what is going to do, like, a ton of damage and what isn't. That did no damage. I can't, I have to remember that this thing doesn't do any damage unless it's with, like, Gigaton Hammer. Um, honestly, there's another one in the background. We can go try to catch that with a quick ball. Okay, I guess that makes sense. It's water type. That would do no damage. Okay. Uh, guess we'll just play rough again. Oh, it's probably going to knock me out this turn. Uh, maybe not. Body slam ain't going to do... Uh, actually... Oh my fucking god, the paralyze. Please. Uh, is it nighttime? No. Damn it. No, we could use... Yeah, let's just use a netball then. Oh my god, the frame rate right now. Dear god. That is so bad. Uh, maybe we'll give this throat chop. Uh. Yeah, let's replace throat er, assurance. Because I feel like that, uh, the secondary effect isn't that useful, but it's honestly not really that useful for either of them. The way that I play. Anyways. Pure water, okay. Oh my god, the audio sound effect played like a solid two or three seconds before the uh the animation. Okay, I think I have one of those fish. Oh my god, Scyther, fuck off. I am literally just gonna use a fucking polka doll here. Because, honestly, I want to have, like, nothing to do with this area right now. I wanted to try and catch a Dratini, but why did it put me so far? Why the hell did it put me all the way over here? I guess, you know what, this is, like, the closest point that's, like, near a town, I guess, that's... Not on a cliff? That's that. Uh, that's really annoying. Also, not helpful that it runs at like 3 FPS. That's like the worst of the game has run so far, which is impressive because the game does not run well at all. I forget, did I catch the Megaton or did I just knock it out? Oh, no, I didn't catch her. That's right, because I just reset. Let me grab my item. Is there another gimme ghoul over here? Nope. Okay. I wonder if we can make it over there like this. Oh no, I can tell I'm definitely starting to drop off pretty quick. That's kind of annoying that, that happens. I love how there's already a group of Pokemon and then another group spawned in the middle of them. Yeah, I caught that slow bro. I did. Nice. Hmm. 
glad I checked this. It's gonna be interesting to see if I can actually get up to it or if I'm gonna like fall down short of it. We're definitely starting to go down pretty quick. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna fall short. This island is littered with these things. Alright, let me go ahead and save now that we're over here. Actually, not sure what Pokemon we're looking for. If I have to actually battle that dude. Or if I have to just encounter these things to see if I find, like, a Titan. Cross over real quick, just see. Because, yeah, I mean, these things aren't, like, running away or anything. Oh, that's got to be it. That thing is so much larger than the other ones. All right, here we go. Ah, there we go. That was a very slow reaction there. Good job. God, the camera angle just sucks. Oh, I can't even change the camera angle. Oh, interesting. That's... Only normally effective? Oh, I guess because it's done Dozo, so it's not actually a dragon. Uh, that's really a problem, actually. Okay, well, we'll just hit it with this. Alright, we are gonna swap over to you for this. What is going on with the status effects today? This is getting a little annoying. There we go. Is that going to be enough? I don't think that's quite enough. Okay, at least this is, the statuses are going both ways. Uh, That should be enough. Assuming we actually get to attack. Okay, now we're probably going to have to go find it. Wherever it's going. Uh, do I have to actually, like, f track it? So I just want to, like, heal real quick. Let's heal this thing, because we're just going to swap it into the front. It's nice that you can sprint in the water. Why is a Bergmite over here? What? Where of them to be? I guess it makes sense. I guess uh, the... Uh, Oh, okay, we need to catch a Tini. God, the frame rate. For the love of God, game. It's like anything where the God rays are going to be visible or the reflection of the sun off the water, it just, like, goes to shit. Uh... 
Alright, that quick balls. Even though it is a Dratini, so I'm not very hopeful this will catch. Yeah, I'm not gonna, uh... I'm just gonna run from this battle because, frankly, I don't trust that the game ain't gonna crash. God, I run so bad. Like, I'm gonna really hope that I get one of those in a surprise trade, to be honest. Okay, let's head left immediately. Oh, is this it over here? Yep. I don't think you're supposed to have actually seen the, uh, the Donzo there. I think that was a... That was a glitch. Uh, let's go ahead and save. All right, here we go. Yep, there we go. So I wonder if we're gonna fight the Dodonzo or the uh, the sushi here. Right, let's Terra. Just see if we can go for a one-hit kill. Also, why did he bring a greed into this battle? What the fuck, man? Like, his Pokemon choices for some of these battles haven't been stellar, but like, you could bring something not useless, and he hasn't so far. Or he has brought stuff that isn't useless so far. Point is, Greedent is terrible. Why did you bring it to this battle? I did not actually do that much damage. This will actually probably knock it out. Alright, never mind. I'm not going to complain about Greedon anymore. Thanks, Greedon. You took a hit for me and you uh, lowered its defense. Very helpful. But I have a feeling we're going to be fighting that Sushi as well. Yep. So I probably shouldn't have wasted my Terra. Oh, we get our Terra back. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I guess we'll just Thunder Punch it. That hurt quite a bit. Oh, good. And accuracy down. Oh, I don't even want to swap in with my, uh... Whatchamacallit. The, uh, Tinkaton. Because it's not going to like... It's not going to like taking a... Uh, a ground type move, that's for sure. Alright, that's fine though. Now we get the free switch in without taking damage. At least to think it done. This... Oh, no. He only brings the one Pokemon. Okay. Cool, dude. 
There we go. That shouldn't hurt. <sighs> Alright, please hit. Actually, I probably should have used something else there. Oh well, that worked out. Alright, cool. I didn't get as much XP as I wanted, because... Well, I didn't get it on the uh, iron hands or whatever. But, oh well. Is that, uh, who I think it is? Yeah, I don't care. Literally just need you to evolve. Don't care about your moves. Alright, that should be the end of the Titan... Uh, well, it's not the end of the storyline, but it's the last of the Titans anyways. So I should end up with all my movement options available now, which is awesome. Uh, we can start working on the... Uh, the Team Star stuff, or finish up the Team Star stuff. We have the Fairy Team at level 51 and the Fighting Team at level 56. Oh man, can't wait to eat this sandwich. I love how they still act surprised that it comes out of the ball when I'm trying to eat a sandwich. Like, come on. Oh, what's happening is this is like emotional and his face is flickering. Jesus Christ. Are we going to get a cutscene? Or is the game crashing? Yeah, you really can't tell with this game because some of the loading screens take like an hour. Oh, it is a cutscene. Like a proper, almost pre-rendered cutscene.
I can't believe Game Freak actually did it. They made a story in Pokemon that you actually might give a fuck about. Oh, Feral Mommy. So I'm pretty sure now we want to avoid going back to that lighthouse for a while because that's going to be a kind of difficult battle. Alright, cool. Uh, let me check. I have... Okay, yes, I have caught one of you. Oh, wow! It tried to come up on land at me. Holy shit. See, I like how that thing actually feels threatening, unlike the, um, the Sharpedo in Isle of Armor. Where it's just like, okay, cool. You, like, constantly follow me and make exploration annoying. But you're not really scary at all, you're just annoying. Oh, I assume that's the uh, Titan Pokemon right there, too. Uh. No. I'd rather catch the Dratini first. Let me. I might be about to run away, actually. Dratini, stop running away. Oh, God. Here we go again. I love playing at 2 FPS. It's my favorite. All right, we got a back strike on it. We have a quick ball. Uh, game don't crash. Oh, fuck off. Okay, cool. Don't care. Bye. Oh, maybe that wasn't the Titan Pokemon, because it's actually moving around. I think it has just a static spot. It can't, like, run around. This thing's back there. Oh, those are Golduck. Okay. Okay, bye, Dratini. Did you just drown or something? Hello? Okay. Um... He actually runs straight at it, because it gets scared and runs away. God, that fucking fish, man. That fish is kind of scary. I have no idea if it actually does enough damage to care about it, but the fact that it moves so fast is, like... Actually, like, kind of scary. I don't know. Alright, now we finally got our Jatini. I don't want to move it in my party. Okay. Let me get the hell out of this area. Um, I think fairy is the first base that we do. Yeah, because it's fairy and then the fighting one, right? Okay. Uh... Oh, we can't even go there yet. 
Okay, well, let's go to here, then. Anywhere that isn't the water. The water just runs so bad. I don't even ever want to, like, do outbreaks in the water areas. I'm going to have to for some of the Pokemon, I think. Actually, I guess breeding is an option. I don't think any of the Paradox Pokemon are, uh, like, water-based. Uh. Okay, um... Fairy. Definitely don't want this or this. Man, our team is just not good for taking on fairy types. Uh, I guess we will move you up to our third slot just to, like, have you there. Uh, okay. So, we want to go up to this place. I have no idea how to actually get there, but we can climb over mountains now, so it doesn't really matter. Also, it looks like it's pretty much just going to be a straight shot. Oh, Frostlass. Uh, didn't I ever get a Frostlass? I did. Someone traded me one. Oh, it's the, uh, the dog thing. Wondering what it was for a second. I was like, well, it's definitely not a... Oh my god, the graphical glitches. It's definitely not a, uh, like... Whatchamacallit. A gimme ghoul. But I just couldn't figure out what it was for a second. Alright, battle time. That's a really... Weird thing to say to a little girl, my man. Uh. That was a little weird. Uh. Dark type? I think it is. Definitely must be. Oh, Vaporeon! I love how many of my trades have been, uh... I've gotten Japanese Pokémon from. I guess it makes sense, though, because I play usually pretty late at night. Evil. Uh, Dark Ice, right? Bring you back in. Uh, actually, oh, I should have left that in, actually. Because, yeah, that would be four times weak to fighting. Oh, well. For some reason, I think we'll probably still knock it out in one hit. Call me crazy. Yeah, level 37, I think we'll be fine. But XP is XP. Is that Slackoth? Oh, 36, okay. I was thinking it was level 30, I was just gonna use a uh, candy on it just to get it out of the way. Try and catch this. Sure. Why not? Maybe we'll get it with a quick ball. What the? Oh, it's a deli bird, but its animation is. Oh, it was flying. 
interesting. That was a weird animation that the throw did there, but hey, I got the catch, so who cares? Maybe they didn't properly program in the uh, critical catch animation for when you're on your uh, mount. I would certainly be par for the course for this game. Uh, yes, I have a deli bird. Oh, that was, right, again. That's still a Pokemon. I saw a glimmer of something. I thought it was a, um, an item to pick up. Uh, it was not. Good lighting's glitching out on me. I don't have a Laylee yet, do I? Uh, can I... Okay, thank you. It would not let me actually, like, target it? That was really weird. I could just run into it, but... I don't know why it was being difficult. Alright, cool. Cool. I love how I'm getting, like, all these Pokemon that are just, like, the second or third stage evolutions, and it's just making the ones that I already have irrelevant. Like, I don't have to worry about my having my snow run anymore. It's again hitting every wrong button. Four more. I ass is there another fucking gimme ghoul here? There's no way it's back up there, is it? Is that on the roof? There it is, yep. I assume I've not done enough battles for you yet. I've defeated zero. I guess that guy that was up there was technically in a different zone. Weird. Oh, it's the evolved form of the, uh, the belly bulb or whatever. The Pokemon that, uh, Iona uses. Let's go for it. Also, that's a, like, giant one in the back. Oh, no, it's just really close. Never mind. Really wish they would have made the uh, Tinkaton a lefty instead of a righty for how it holds the uh, hammer. So that way it wouldn't be uh, always blocking the camera view. This might be the worst part about, like, the overworld in this game. Besides, you know, obviously the performance issues. Just run. The fact that, like, you'll not even be out of the battle yet, and a Pokemon will already be, like, encountering you again. Like, you'll be just, just waiting for the uh, animation to finish. Um, save... We can do this trainer battle. Never mind. No, we won't. We'll uh, watch the game fade in and out at 2 FPS and then go do this base, I guess.
Is that a... Oh, that's Lorantis, isn't it? And are those... I think those are Fomantis or Fermantis or whatever it's called. Oh, there's also the, um, the flower Pokemon right next to me. Nice. It's that one out of the way. Again, not even out of the animation yet, and it's already attacking me. Literally spawned inside of me, so there was nothing I could do. I, God, it's so stupid. Like, there's... How they managed to make that part of it so shitty and not fun, I don't understand. Uh, okay, so what happened to those flowers? Fucking before that thing gets on top of me. Oh, interesting. There's a couple different uh, colors of them here as well. Can't wait to immediately be thrown into another battle with the... Uh, that other one. I'm seriously holding left right now, just to, like, try and run away from it immediately. Uh, what happened to the Lorantis? Huh. Also, seriously, these things are annoying as fuck. Oh, there's one. Uh, I'm not even going to try to get over there to catch that. It's absolutely going to try and crash the game. Let me save real quick. Alright, let's take on this base. I chose a very good time to save. I still can... I can't think of anything but the boss theme from Final Fantasy VII when the song starts playing. Because that intro is absolutely the same. Or, not the same, but I mean... It definitely has a very similar feel. Uh, this is Dark Fairy. Gigaton Hammer time. There we go. Would have been cooler if it played at more than 2 FPS. I don't know why the performance has been, like, so extra bad today. Uh, Hat Trim. What is Hat Trim? Is it Psychic Fairy? Well, oh. oh, fuck, I can't hammer time. Um... We can try this. That wasn't awful. Honestly, uh... Yeah. I was gonna say I can just hit it again, but... Do 
Do I know what this typing is? Hold on. No, I don't. Okay. Whatever. Let's just hope we hit. Yay! God, I can't. The game just... Why does this game run so bad? This game would be so good if it just didn't perform like shit. Like, I've definitely heard other people say it, and I kind of do agree. It's, like, the best that Pokemon has ever been in terms of, like, the gameplay. But scenes like this don't look good because, like, those wall textures are so bad. And the game just runs so fucking bad. Alright. Save real quick. Alright, let's do this. Can't wait till I never have to do this mechanic again. My god, I literally can't see anything over my Pokemon. Oh, Gardevoir and a couple Kirlia. I still haven't figured out how I'm actually supposed to do this, other than just mashing the uh, right bumper. Because, like, sometimes it'll lock on and aim for you, but other times, like 90% of the time, it doesn't, and there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to the cause of that. Interesting, we're not taking, like, any damage here. Uh oh, these things could actually be a slight problem. God, please, game, play at more than 2 FPS for the love of fuck. I'm gonna need to restart the game after this. I don't know if this is a related to the memory leak issue or if it's just this area just sucks, but. Attack it! What are we waiting for? That, again, I don't understand. Sometimes they'll automatically target something, other times they won't. It just, there's like no rhyme or reason how shit works in this mode. Like, at least in the, um... You know, when you're using the Let's Go thing in like the normal overworld, it, you know... The game will, uh, you can aim using left trigger, kind of. So you know you're going to attack what you're, like, aimed at. Um, don't want to fight those. Okay, we'll fight these, uh, Morgrim. Alright, thank god that's over. Yeah, we took, like, no damage from that. God, even in this scene where it's just black, the frame rate for the text coming in there was terrible. Alright, I assume he's gonna have four Pokemon like they usually do. He might have five.
All right, he has four, so... Is this even... It is part fairy. Okay, I guess water resist steel. Okay, that would do it. Um, Gigaton hammer, I guess. That's not bad. That's gonna hurt. Oh, how did that miss? How did Oct... Okay, I'm not gonna complain. Just a little weird. Uh, hopefully this hits. Nope, now I missed. Okay, cool. <sighs> oh, oh good. Attack harshly fell, you know. The thing that my entire, like, kit is based off of. Okay, cool. Of course that wouldn't knock out either. God. This is gonna do, like, 8 million damage somehow. Shut up. Alright, um... I legitimately don't even know if that'll knock it out or not. Go for it. Okay. Wigglytuff. I think Wigglytuff is just going to be normal fairy. Let's bring him in. Bring in the Skeledurge. We'll just spam a Porch Song. Honestly, I might not even need to switch to, um, uh, Tinkaton. Just the fact that I'm gonna go into this third Pokemon here with plus two special attack, and I'll probably have at least plus three. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, though. Actually, he might have just cucked me really good. Dash bun, because I think this thing has an ability that makes it immune to fire type attacks. Yeah, it takes no damage when hit by fire-type moves. Instead, its defense stat is sharply boosted. I'm gonna go ahead and assume, being that that's his normal ability, that we don't want to mess with that. Uh, hold on. Let me see, though. I am just curious. I think I'll switch anyways, but I am just curious to see here. Doesn't say what their abilities are. Interesting. Oh, wait, no, yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, well-based body, which is, yeah, makes sense. Okay, uh, well. Don't actually want to bring that in early, though. Uh, it's pure fairy. Which means we really don't have a good answer to it. Uh, let's bring you in. Um... I assume his last Pokemon is Pure Fairy as well. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's bring this in so we can just take it out. We probably won't do enough damage, but we'll do some. Or at least not enough to, like, knock it out in one hit. We'll probably take some damage. I'm not sh Hopefully this will be enough to take it out. Bang, I do have a 10 level advantage. Shut up. God. Super effective, but didn't actually do that much damage. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I was a little concerned. Oh, wow, I don't even get the option to switch here. Okay. But what I can do here is I can heal Tinkaton, and then, um... Although, uh, does he get bonuses? 
Eh, you know what? Let's just go for it. That's the worst that can happen. Oh! That did nothing. And he cleared his terrain. Okay. Cool. That's gotta be really annoying. Cool. Again, what is up with the status today? Paralyze? Damn. Uh, well, we'll just keep trying it. Okay, that was not pleasant. Watch me knock myself out. I will say, as annoying as the status effects are, uh, I haven't actually hit myself with confusion yet. Which is nice. Alrighty, well... Let's just finish this off. Hopefully I outspeed, otherwise it might do quite a bit of damage to me. I should. Oh, and you know what? I should be pure steel now. So, yeah. It's like now I'm gonna have a... Uh, I should be okay. Uh, I'm trying to think what I even... It could have some coverage moves. Let's find out. Uh, spin out, maybe? Ow, right, that's a thing. Which really sucks, because if I hit myself, which I absolutely will, because I just mentioned that I haven't hit myself yet, then I probably will still use up my move. Oh, nice. Since I can only use Gigaton Hammer once every other turn. All right, cool. You're supposed to be able to see your trainer there. Alright, that one went a lot easier than the previous uh, ones have gone. I guess the poison one went pretty easy, but I was also even more overleveled for the poison one, I think. Hey, okay. glad the rain just ended. All right, another one down. So we just got the fire, or the, sorry, the fighting team, which is level 56. And then we're just on to like the final stuff, which is like, you know, the final, or the, uh, like, the head boss of Team Star, the Elite Four, and, uh, I think we have to fight Arvin. To, like, wrap up his storyline.
I'm mostly reading that. I don't really care to read it out loud because it's... Of the three stories, this is definitely the weak... Well, I guess maybe I shouldn't say that. The, uh... The gym challenge doesn't really have much of a story, but I still feel like it's better than this. It also just doesn't help that this has to deal with also being compared to the Arvin storyline, which is actually, like, interesting because, you know, you want to see the dog be healthy again. Free money. Love to see it. More TMs. Love to see it. I still need that fucking backpack, man. That backpack is way too adorable. Nothing's really around me. Let's grab this item. I think we can kind of... Never mind. I was going to say, I think we can kind of get to the final uh, base from here. But no, it's actually way further than I thought. Uh, Wow, we've not been over here at all yet. I guess that makes sense. There's no reason to have been over here at all yet. Um, So... I guess we'll come over here and then, uh, yeah, I mean, now that we have, like, all the movement options for, uh, for Karaidon, it really shouldn't be an issue to get anywhere. Heal up. All right, so I think I should just uh, put this on the front, and we'll just use that because it's immune to any fighting type moves. Assuming they don't have guts, which would be a problem. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go up here first, and then we can cut over. I think the game's probably. I'm not sure where the game's going to make me go through to get to them, to be honest. Oh, I might actually have to end up going around and coming back this way. Which would be weird because they have the Pokemon Center right here, but whatever. Anyways, set that as our destination. Let's get going. I guess we can catch this car cold before we leave. Probably check my uh, Pokedex after this too. I might have a new reward, even though it's just the star or the star piece rather, which I will um, not sell for a while, just because I have no reason to. But at least I'll be able to see what the next one is, assuming we are there yet. Oh, we just uh, just got there, actually. Nice. Oh, friend ball. 
Uh, so what's next after uh, slacking? Just because I'm curious. Ah, oh, bounce sweet, right. Oh, and small of, yeah, I haven't done any of that evolution line yet. Interesting spot for one of those. I'm just gonna skip over this battle. I don't think there's... It's probably gonna be too low of a level to be worth bothering with. I guess I could have looked at the... Um, The other stuff. Although, wasn't the poison... Yeah, the poison base was right over here, so probably not. Um. Anyways, let's get out of here before it crashes the game. I should probably reset the game before I, like, do the next, uh, base. Just to move any chance of it, uh, or to reduce the chance of it crashing as much as possible. What is that? Oh, that's the, uh... Yeah, that's the new, um... Pokemon that draws stuff. Graii or something like that. Alright, anyways. Oh, can I not climb that? There we go. I guess because it was more than vertical. It was actually like leaning backwards a little bit. Uh, did I catch that Halucha? I forget. Or did it just kick my ass? Oh, I did catch it. Cool. Uh, the Braviary. Oh, we did catch Braviary. Uh... I don't care. I'll deal with the flowers later. I was thinking about trying to catch those because, like, it'd be helpful for future me, but... It doesn't really matter. I don't like how it jumps around to do the climbing. Oh my god. Did I get that ostrich Pokemon yet? This Pathra. Well, let's see if we can get it. I didn't even check to see what level it was. Was it 50? 50, all right. Not too bad. But, I mean, we're definitely up the mountain from that, uh, where those other trainers were. Those were probably going to be, like, level 30 trainers or something. Just not really worth the, uh, time to fight. That counter. I don't even care what Pokemon is trying to learn counter. What was that thing that was over here, to my left? There was something that was, like, green-looking. Which makes me wonder if it might be... Oh, no, it was a go-goat. Okay. I was like, I don't know, maybe it's a shiny ostrich or something? But... That's fine. Why, why am I not climbing? Uh, excuse me? Can you only climb vertical stuff? That... I really hope that it was just bugging and wasn't, like, letting me climb. And that wasn't, like, a... Wasn't a thing where, like, you can't climb unless it's, like, past a certain angle. Because that would be extremely stupid.
Nice, more berries. Oh, hi, Lichen Rock. Uh. Okay. Is it gonna respawn? I can still see its shadow. Alright, whatever. I guess I don't care. I know why it's, like, being weird, because it's too close to the uh, Pokemon Center, but... Alright, let's just go ahead and heal up. I don't know if I just had done this or not, but we'll heal again anyways. I don't think I had. Alright, then we'll just come over this way. Got a spoink, right? Yeah. I know there's that grump pig that was there too, but I was more focused about uh just getting to the uh whatchamacallit? To the Pokemon Center. Alright, let's try and catch this. Nice. Another Pokemon down. Yeah, if I actually caught a saws buck or not. Wow. So I tried to jump back up from the edge there and it literally just headbutted me off. Okay. That was rude, Halucha. I was not expecting that to happen. Like, it was freaking out because the physics of this game are not great. Uh, but then it just, like, like, I guess I touched it and just caused me to go flying back. Even though you think just touching it should start a battle, but I guess if you're in air, it, like, doesn't know what to do. Oh, Flareon. Uh, do I want to try and catch a Flareon? What level are you? 50. Uh, I mean, you can just buy the stones, so I'm not too worried about that. Also, I'm definitely taking the long way around here. Uh, I can just evolve in a Scovillian really easy. Oh, interesting. There's... There's Pokemon down in the water. I didn't even realize there was a cliff there. Oh, uh, but also there's like two watchtowers over here, which is odd. One of them looks significantly shorter than the other one, though. But maybe it's just further back. Oh, wait, there's three here. Interesting. Uh, can I climb up without fighting these guys? I'm just curious. Restore, nice. Also, I wonder if there's gonna be gimme ghoul chests at the top of all these. Cause that would be nice. Just to like have that as an option for when I'm grinding for coins later. Well, there's at least one here. Uh I don't think there's ones on those two, because those are like half size towers. Okay, well. Get right into it. Fortunately, it, no matter what level this thing is, it's not a threat. Um, hey, uh, uh, trainer, you're kind of in the way. I don't think I'm supposed to be standing there. I don't think I'm supposed to be standing there. 
at all, in fact. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, save right after this and then reset. Because the game is deteriorating as we're playing it. Okay. Hopefully I can take on this, uh, this last base here. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to, but... I mean, it is... Level 56, we're right around there. That's fighting type, so I mean... Our Tinkaton and our, uh... Uh, what's it called? Skeledurge are gonna be just fine. All right. Did those items despawn? There's no way, right? No, they didn't. Okay. Oh, there is a gimme ghoul here. Literally, I was in the middle of an animation, and it runs inside of me, and there is literally no way for me to not get involved in the battle. Oh, God, that's so dumb that that's a thing. Um, I guess we'll Shadow Ball it and hope it doesn't just, like, knock me out right now. It outspeeds me. That's not helpful. Let me see. Fighting goes, fighting. Okay. All right. Yeah, it should not be a very difficult battle. Uh, is that gonna boost special defense? Yep. This probably won't knock it out. What's that jumping in the background? Also, where's my Pokemon? Jeez. Um. Again, the lighting. These Golduck are terrible. Or at least their AI is terrible. Alright, plenty of experience at least. Oh, hey, these things. Yeah, I need you. See if I can catch one of those Whiskash as well. Be nice to knock out two more uh, Pokemon in the decks. It's gonna be nice. We're not gonna have a whole hell of a lot to do after we beat the game. There's definitely gonna be a lot. And, oh my fucking god. Okay. That should never happen. But in this case, it wasn't the end of the world. Also, I can literally already see another Pokemon inside of me. Also, was that Dratini shiny, possibly? No, it was not. Okay. I thought it was a little pinkish, but it's not. It's just the lighting. Alright, well, that evolution line is done quite quickly. Love to see it. Oh, there's a special item over there as well. Uh, that one's not really that special there. Okay. Grab you. Okay. 
Thank you. And up we go. Gotta make our way back up to uh, where this Pokemon Center is gonna be. There's a lot of people theorizing the uh, the grayed out section over there on the minimap is gonna be. Why can I not climb that? Oh my god! How did they make climbing so bad? Like that's honestly a little impressive how bad they made it. Somehow they made it more annoying than in um, Legends Arceus. Uh, have I gotten a wrong guru? I think, I, yeah, I got a wrong guru. It's past Simeon that I still need, I think. Ow. Uh, Bisharp. I don't know, will it let me throw a ball to battle it from here? I'm actually, I'm surprised it's letting me even lock on. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it will. Well, I don't have to worry about uh, a Pokemon running on top of me during this and starting a battle. Well, actually, maybe I do need to worry. I don't know why it moved me. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Never mind. I was going to say, I don't know why it moved me so far over to the side, but it makes perfect sense because there was a table in the way. Um, I'm just going to hit you with this. If you die, you die. Yeah, okay. Whatever, I have a, um... A Pawnee Yard. So, that's not really a big deal. I hear it. It's probably up on the roof again. The, uh, Gimme Ghoul. Alright, let me hurry up and, uh... Wrap this up here. Oh, hair across, I need to catch that. Also, there is something in the background as well. Oh, uh, but yeah, I do need to, like, hurry... Oh, it's just that thing. God. So, why was I able to target that other one, but not that thing? Alright, um... Okay, perfect. I'm actually glad it started running away. Ball. Team Star is right over there. But yeah, try and get that done so we can wrap up for the night so I can get this uploaded. I still need to get the, um, the VOD from last night is uploaded, but it's not, like, public. Uh, because I just didn't get around to it. And I didn't think it was going to be processed in time anyways. Oh, Perfect. So, what was the next thing? Bounce Weed, I think. Which I think is probably a normal evolution line, but I'm not sure. Alright. It's, uh, boxes. Look for a Bounce Weed. No idea where that would be. Oh god, now I have a bunch of shit in um the boxes for like the new Pokemon or Pokemon that I just need for a uh, Pokemon Home. All right, no bound sweet here. There it is. Level twelve. Okay, it's a good start. What do I need for you? Uh, oops. Oh, level 18, and then level it with, uh, Stomp as a move. Which is honestly probably even better than a normal level evolution. I have one of you already, right? Yes, okay. Well, 
once again stopped right before we get to an item. Okay, uh, I'm back here, so we'll run back over to it. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and save. Uh, did I heal this one? Okay, I can see it even less now. Alright. Let's get right into it. Oh, what's my level? Yeah, we'll be fine. We're slightly over-leveled. Gonna be a double battle? Okay, no. I think I'll be just fine taking out the grunt. Skeledurge is hopefully gonna do some evil things to this team. We'll just have a Torch Song. If we don't have anything that's super effective, when in doubt, Torch Song. Alright, well, if she has multiple Pokemon, they're all gonna get one-shotted now. <laughs> oh god, Torch Song is way too powerful of a move. Primeape is just pure fighting, right? Uh, I don't know if... I think Ghost can hit fighting, right? It just can't hit, um, normal. Um. Nah, let's try it. Just so I can not remember. Oh, that's a ground type move, isn't it? Yep. Okay, yeah, I can't hit it. I thought that was the case. I just couldn't remember. It is a little bit weird that Ghost can hit uh, fighting, but not normal. And fighting and normal both can't hit Ghost. But Oh, I mean, in theory, that's a good move. But uh, 85, I hate low accuracy moves. Because they will always fail you when you need them to not fail you. You can, like, that's the only thing you can count on with a low accuracy move. And 85% sounds pretty high, but it's not. It That 15% will bite you in the ass more often than you expect. Alright, when does this thing learn a uh, stomp?
28. Oh my god, that is awful. Can I TM it? Doesn't look like it. Well, that sucks. Okay. Boy, that was a lot of talking that our mouth just did. <laughs> Alright, uh, we need to heal, because we did take some damage. I know this is overkill. Uh, actually, that wasn't, you know, the super potion wasn't going to quite cut it, so it wasn't the end of the world. Save again. All right, there we go. Let's try it. Uh, what's the third Pokemon? Oh, I think I still have the uh, Iron Hands as my third. I hope so, otherwise uh, Mouscarada is gonna take a lot of damage in here. Dark types, not big fans of fighting types. Why is Clive already in here? Now that I think about it, I think he was in the last one as well, but... This one is very linear, which is interesting. Uh, I guess we'll take on the Hariyama. I've gotten the hang of this a little bit, I guess, but I still like this mode. I will say this area is like the most interesting for it just because it's like a straight line. So you actually have to progress through it instead of just like wander around the entrance pretty much. Or just go, you know, wherever, even though it like doesn't end up mattering. What are we at here? 24 knockouts. That'll be 25. 26. 27. Um, so since they're individuals, these will be fine. I just want to make sure I heal before I uh, knock out the 30th. Okay. Let's run back a little bit. Even though I don't think it's going to matter much. Especially since the fire croc is already like... Alright, still at full health, basically. It does seem like at a certain point... Um, it, like, if, you ha if you're enough over-leveled and you have like a type advantage, you just don't take damage during this mode. Which is nice. All 
right, last time we're gonna fight Team Star. Well, that's not true. There are the rematches, but those aren't, you know, necessary to game. Just optional if you want to do them. So I don't think she has a steel type. Oh, she does have Lucario actually fighting steel. Oh, does she have five Pokemon as well? I just realized she does. I guess it makes sense. She is supposed to be the highest level of the group. Uh, I guess we'll Torch Song. That actually hurt quite a bit. That would be why. God, it's so annoying it cutting away to these, like, dialogue boxes. And it's just like, please just let me do the battle. Alright, as long as it doesn't, like, knock me out with another crit. Though it's doing quite a bit of damage, actually. Which is a problem, because I'm not going to outspeed all this stuff. This croc is too slow. Um... Okay, well, we'll definitely keep it in. If it knocks me out, it knocks me out. That's fine. Yeah, that's absolutely going to knock me out. Okay. Well, now it gets a little bit more interesting. It's still fighting. Um, Play Rough should do okay against it. Uh, I'm just trying to think what I want to do here. Eh, whatever. Croc doesn't really need more XP. I do want to bring it in for, like, the final battle, I guess. Or the final, you know, against the car. Okay, that wasn't too bad for damage. God, please, the lighting game. It's so jarring when it shifts like that. Um. Uh, yeah, let's just guarantee damage. Uh, this should knock out still. Yeah. All right, that's two down. Annihilate. Uh, we'll keep you in. This is fighting ghost. Interesting. That might KO. Alright, I think I'm gonna bring in Spide Ops here. Because I don't care about this thing at all, to be honest. Uh, we're gonna revive our... Definitely the Crocodile. Uh, I do have two max revives. Definitely max revive the croc. Actually, the croc might not be a good choice. Although, actually, I don't know. I might actually have a little bit of trouble at the end here. That's fine. Um, yeah, we are definitely going to use the other max revive here. I still have some confidence, though. I think we'll be okay. So it's fighting ghost. Um, who can I bring? In? I guess we can just bring in uh this dude. Um, because I do not want to bring this in. Although, actually, the ghost typing could be useful against it. Because I can hit it with a Night Slash. And I might add... To wow, why is my level so low on it? Oh my god, I just realized that. 
I guess because it's not a traded for Pokemon, so he doesn't have that XP boost. Um, yeah, just Thunder Punch it. Okay. I'll keep my current Pokemon. Ideally, we would take out the past Simeon and still have some HP on this to just leave it in against the, uh, the other thing. Just for, like, a free hit, basically. Or just, you know, a, a small bit of chip damage. Which could work out. Uh, I don't think we'll outspeed it, though. That's the problem. That's, like, the big problem against this thing. Because, yeah, the Reverum has Spin Out, which I, like, I have no idea what that is. Shift Gear, which is a problem. Um, and then High Horsepower. What does Stamina do as an ability? Boost Defense when hit by an attack. Jesus. Okay. Um... Don't go for it. We're not going to outspeed it. Yeah, there we go. And that high horsepower is a big problem because that hits everything I have pretty damn hard. Um, yeah, both of these are in a lot of trouble against that move. Uh, shit. Play rough can hit it hard back, though. If I can hit it. And then just hopefully Fire Croc can take at least one hit and get off a Torch Song. That is attack or speed? I would hope speed. Okay. Oh, it's both attack and speed. Good. Great, because I wasn't going to take enough damage as it is. And its defense is up now. It's gonna one shot my fucking Pokemon. God damn it. Yeah, uh, we're in a bit of trouble here. Oh my god, okay. That is helpful. All right, that should didn't quite oko us. Okay. Thank God we got at least something out of that. Um, 100%. I'm gonna go down here. So, uh, do I have anything else that'll act as a no? Okay. Yeah, just in case. Because we're absolutely going to go down here. Um, so I don't think I have much of a chance there. Yeah. The Scarlet Violet Dex has you going insane. You need four and that's it. What four do you still need? Is it going to be like Paradox Pokemon or something? Uh, okay, so. I have a plan here. Actually, it's speed harshly fell. Um... It's still going to outspeed me. Yeah, I have an idea here. Uh, Actually, I'm not even quite sure why I'm doing this. Now I think about it, because, yeah, it's, this isn't going to help that much. Uh, Weavile, Dragapult, Dragolage, and Golden Go. Oh, uh, okay. Well, those aren't too terrible. Uh, except, what, is Dragolage, uh, I believe that's a, uh, version exclusive? 
Never mind, I just realized I can win this very easily. Uh, I'm actually scared now that I might somehow outspeed it. Actually, you know what? We did just revive something, so we should be okay. I just remembered that I have something uh, very easy I can do here. Because I always forget that Terrestrialize is an actual mechanic. It's Scarlet exclusive. Okay. By the way, welcome in, Vivian. Hopefully I didn't take too long to see your comment. Uh, da, 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 da. No, my Terra type is Ghost. Fuck. I just realized that. Or not Ghost, rather. That's the problem. So if I Terrestrialize, I'm in trouble. Uh... I think we just have to bring this in and hope to God that we can hit it. You can get Weavile because you can get the item. Yeah, the other ones should all be reasonably easy because I don't think Dragapult is a uh, version exclusive. Alright, if somehow this doesn't knock it out and it doesn't knock me out. Okay, that's actually better than I thought. There we go. Ooh. Golden Go. Yeah, Golden Go. At least, it, you know, it's not version exclusive, but it is going to take you a second to get all those. I just, uh, once a day go over all the watchtowers and hope that one of them you get lucky with, uh, with it instead of getting the 50 coins, you get, like, a lot more. Because you can get a lot more. In fact, there's a very low chance to get 999 from one chest, but... Uh, as much as I hate the, like, the base raid part of these bases, the boss battles have been great. Because, like, I actually had to think about that a little bit. And it shows how bad I am at this game. <laughs> uh, but I've definitely enjoyed these boss battles. These have been good. A little disappointed, actually, now that I'm not going to have any more, but... Oh, well. It is what it is. So, that is done now. So, yeah. I mean, not all the finale stuff is, like, up for me to do now. Though, most of that I need to gain a little bit of levels for. Oh, close combat. That's nice.
Oh, that's a nice chunk of change. Last of the TMs. Wow, who could have seen that twist coming? Oh, I just realized that's kind of annoying that you have to go there after dark. Because there's no way like Legend like you could in Legends Arceus to um change the time of day. Alright, well, we're done with that one. Let's run back over to the Pokemon Center here. Uh, so, before I can really do much else, I need to do a little bit of grinding, especially for, a uh, Mascarada, or however you're supposed to pronounce it. Because it is kind of underleveled right now. And, uh, the lowest level for the Elite Four, which is the lowest level of any of the final stuff left to do, is level 58. So I have a little ways to go on that. I do have some Pokemon I can swap in. Like, I'm probably going to replace, um this, like, last leveling Pokemon with something. Uh, but I'll do that when I get there. Uh... Let me see... Because I do have some candies. I actually have a good amount of candies, and I'll actually get some more when I do the class stuff. So yeah, I think I am going to wrap up there uh, so I can go do all the class stuff and get the last of the, um, the, uh, all the rewards from that, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're, we're almost done. We might actually have this, I don't think we'll finish it. I could not stream tomorrow. I might not stream tomorrow, actually. Uh, we'll see. I'll decide kind of when I get there. Because, um, yeah, I mean, we could... We'll definitely get this game done. Uh, no, we won't. We won't get it done. We'll, okay, yes, we will stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm just... I'm thinking, because after all these three stories, there is actually, like, a fourth... I don't know if it's a post-game story or what, but it there is something at the end as well. Um... I can probably wrap up at least, like, Elite Four and maybe the uh, Arvin thing tomorrow. We'll, f we'll figure it out when we get there. Uh, but again, I have to do some grinding for that, so... And I don't want to do that on stream. That's just going to be boring. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, so we'll stream more tomorrow. A rare Monday stream. But I've been so inconsistent with my streaming lately that I kind of should. Um, anyways... Uh, hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, come check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash panicosgaming. Uh, I stream live every Wednesday, well, try to do every Wednesday through Sunday, I'm not exactly been consistent. Um, but yeah, I usually start, I mean, they're all, they're late night streams. It, it's, you know, like right now it's 3.20 in the morning for me. Um, but yeah, come check out the Twitch channel. Once we get this game done and completed, we're gonna start hopping right into shiny hunting pretty much. Um... I might have to do some stuff with, you know, completing the decks a little bit more, but we'll basically go right into shiny hunting. Um, and then, yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, if you want to watch it live, come check out the Twitch channel. Uh, if you're on Twitch watching this, either live or as a VOD, um, check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Panicos Gaming. Still stupid that there's an at symbol in there, but whatever, it works. Um, but yeah. Pretty much all my VODs are up there. All the VODs for this playthrough so far. Uh, the one for yesterday, I'll be going live tomorrow morning, and then this will follow the day after. Um, plus all my past th playthroughs like Let's Go and Legends Arceus and um, all my past shiny hunts, stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, they're higher quality than the Twitch streams. 
and the Twitch VODs as well, because the Twitch VODs are just what was streamed to them. Um, and they last more than seven days, which is awesome. That's probably the best part about having the YouTube channel, because I get why Twitch doesn't want to be storing all that data. And realistically, 99% of people, if they want to watch a VOD, will probably rather just watch it on YouTube anyways, because again, they can be higher quality. Um, it's a little annoying that like, it's supposed to be 14 days. It used to be 14 days for non-partnered streamers, and now it's only seven. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up there. Thank you so much, everyone who watched. I really do appreciate it. And I will probably see you guys tomorrow. If not, we'll see you guys on uh, Wednesday.